uh, video here. This is going to be a possible repair video on a Gallagher S20, which is, let's say Gallagher S20 right up here, but it's all, all wore out and faded, so you can't read it anymore. But this is the old style S20 Gallagher used to make. They made this unit here in the States, or sold it here in the States from like 2005 to about 2000, I don't know, 13, 15, no shit, no, it wasn't 2013, it was probably like 2015, 16 range, and then they came out with the uh, the S20, a little small solar version that's out now. So the good thing is, well, not every time, but these things are uh, repairable. The, this version is repairable uh, to a point. Uh, Gallagher no longer sells or makes a solar panel for them, which isn't a big deal. We can retrofit a different one in there, not a not a problem. And uh, circuit boards, modules they call them, uh, they hide up inside this whole area up top here, the black is where the switch goes. Circuit board basically, there's two pieces to it that are put together with a cable between them. Uh, that That's all one piece of top here inside. Uh, the board, the circuit board's two piece board wired together. And then the uh, batteries, of course, you can get them anywhere. But the plastic shields are all gone. Don't make those anymore. Solar panels are all gone as of December 2023. As far as I know, the circuit board is still available. And eventually, they're going to stop supplying those at some point in time, I imagine. And because uh, they want you to buy a new S20, uh, which these back in the day were probably being sold between $225 and $300 over the course of the lifespan of this model. And the current S20 as of 2023. Prices is two hundred sixty five dollars. I'm sure they're going to, of course, go up in price like everything else. Um, the nice thing about those have three year warranty, fairly reliable, a lot more compact in size. I mean, they're they're narrow. The new ones are narrower than the solar panel is, but they are kind of a throwaway model because they don't offer any parts. Especially, for, it's kind of stupid, honestly. You pay two hundred sixty five dollars for a unit, and then if you get four years out of it, and thing goes bad for some dumb reason outside of warranty, well, we might be able to fix it. Possibly, maybe, maybe not. But the um, uh, Gallagher can't fix them because they don't offer any internal parts for them, which is kind of dumb for a two hundred plus dollar unit. They're not going to sell parts for it. It's kind of kind of bad, I think, in their part. But they, uh, um, if you go to the S30 and larger, I believe that they can, I think they offer parts for all that stuff. But just tear into this thing, see if we can get it going. I don't know what's wrong with it. Let's see how old it is. We can flip around the back here. It's called the Bustle. It's the, the battery box, their technical name, they call it the Bustle. This big black thing back here. The way you get this open, hold on, let me pause the video and get my, get my camera readjusted here. All right, so you put lifts it up off the table. This is how I do it. Lift it off the table where the battery box is not resting on the table, and put your thumb crossways across the thing. If you're right-handed, which is what I am, do it this way. I turn it to this to the side, and I basically put my weight and shoulder into it, push it down as I'm rolling this back at the same time. Once you get it kind of rolled past this piece, this piece right here goes over the top of this one. Once you get started, and it's easy to get out, get open. Um, there's another way to open it if you can't seem for whatever reason to push that open. Get a flat screwdriver. Just a standard size. Just a little notch right there. Just lift off the table and just push down on it. And it pops right open that way. So that's another way to do it. Well, here's um, this this particular unit is a 2010 model. So a 13-year-old unit. So there's a serial number on it. It's upside down. But the first... Uh, Two digits right there, one zero, four four, the first four. One zero is the year it was built, so 2010. 44 is the week, so 44th week of 2010. This that sticker was put on upside down by somebody from the factory. But this battery has been replaced. This is uh, not the uh, factory battery. It's just the replacement the Gallagher was offering. Let's... Um, I have your meter, your yellow meter, when you have a chance. And you test this battery, and we'll see what it reads. And then we'll, if it's over 12, then we'll, uh, we'll turn it on. If it's under 12, I'm not going to bother with it. We'll just uh, put power to the leads here. But these are this unit you know, takes a 12 volt, 5 amp hour battery. So we'll put our meter on DC volts. And most time when these batteries are fully charged, they hit about 
13 volts fully charged, but it need to be probably a minimum of 12.3 to really run the thing. I'll well, read in 10.5. So battery's pretty low. Let's put our meter, or we'll put a power supply on 13 volts. And I'm hooking across the battery and see if the see if it loads it down or not. Nope. No, this battery's junk. It has has a bad cell in it, or multiple cells that are bad in it. The one you load down my power supply, so that is bad. So now let's um, so we need a new battery. Let's check the solar panel. So how we're gonna do it? We we'll leave it turned off, which straight up and down on the switch is off. We'll tilt this back towards the light overhead. We may have to take it outside, but we'll try it in here first. Put our meter on DC volts again. We're going to go across the uh, battery wires that come out the back of the unit where the battery went. And this solar panel on its own, right at the panel, puts out about 21 volts, give or take. When you go through the battery wire harness, you'll see the board. There's a regulator in there that brings the battery, the solar panel down to a, a lesser voltage so it doesn't ruin the battery and overcharge it. But uh, it should be about 14 volts. And right now we're reading about five volts so that battery might be a symptom of another problem so let's um, tilt this panel back and I'm gonna lift it up on the t lift it up towards the light overhead we're gonna watch this number here and see if we can get to climb not very high it should be close to 14 let's see what it does as we get higher up yep, reading 13 and a half almost 14 so this panel is probably fine Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to get our power supply it's set at 13 volts right now. We'll put it across the battery wires here. Flip the switch on. Here, clicking. Camera can't, you can't see it in the video probably, but the, the light is flashing green every time it clicks, so that's a good sign. Let's turn it off for a second. Let's get our fence tester out, and we'll test. Uh, there's wires on the on the knobs here that the customer sent along. Uh, they definitely need a new alligator clip. That's things seen better days. Let's turn our fancy tester on, and let's move this. Let's charge it off the bench a little ways. Let's get this. Well, let's put this meter or yeah, put the meter on peak voltage, no load, and we'll just take the tester. We're just going to hook it across the two wires. Right, turn it on here. And we're going to look at this number right here and see what it puts out. 8.1, 8.2, 7 .9. So we're for a second. Let's keep it there for a minute. So we're getting about 9,000, 9,000 volts with, with no with no load. Let's go to 500 ohm load. This should be about 2, 2.5. Reading 2.2, which is right on the money. No. So I think the circuit board's fine. I guess what, you know, I'll, I'll take it outside and check the panel right in the sunlight. I mean, it's kind of a halfway cloudy day outside so we may not get the best reading but if we can kind of use a good judgment of amount of light we're getting versus what the voltage is at the leads here on the battery wires um they might just need a new battery it might be it so we might luck out and just needs a 30 dollar battery so um all right so let me go test the battery or test the solar panel outside in the sun just to kind of compare apples to what we get at the apples what we get in here versus outside just to see 
He does need a new clamp on there, which I think we got the green clamps stock. That's like a two or three dollar part. So he probably escaped this one pretty cheap. So, but it, but it could be the solar panel could have an issue. We might have to dig in that a little bit more. But let's see. So give me just a minute here. I'm gonna go do that and I'll come right back and I'll tell you what I find. All right. So it, it right about the same. You know, it's kind of a halfway cloudy day. We're still getting like 13.9 volts outside. Usually these things be between like 39 and 14. And so we're so we're doing fine. So I think technically all this thing needs is just a uh, a new battery, and we're probably gonna change out. Well, change out that green clamp. And then I noticed when I was testing it out there, it's all a little bit easier. Uh, these terminals are kind of crusty, so we'll probably cut those off, uh, crimp on new ones for the guy, put a new clamp on it, uh, get him a new battery if I've got one. I don't know if I do or not. I think I think, think I do have one for this size unit. Uh, if not, I can tell him where he can go buy one at for at wholesale price and stuff at cheaper than even Amazon. So. But anyways, if you like this kind of stuff, subscribe to the channel. This is going to be a quick little test video, basically, and we'll get it fixed up. Pretty simple. If there's any information, like to subscribe to the channel. Appreciate that. And if you got any uh, fence chargers you need um, help uh, getting looked at, send them on here. We'll be able to have to take a look at them for you. It'll be a free quote. All brands, ages of electric fence boxes. And until next time, see you later on. Have a good rest of your day.